On this episode of Camp Outside, we take a look at the RV campsites 4, 5, 6, and 7 at Goose Creek State Park near Washington, North Carolina. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. So today on Kemp Outside, we're going to take a look at some of the campsites in the RV campground at Goose Creek State Park in, in Washington, North Carolina. Goose Creek State Park is a fantastic state park with lots to see and do. It's right on the Pamlico River. There's a boat ramp at Dina's Landing where you can launch a boat if you want uh, and go fishing. There are amazing hiking trails and lots of neat things. There's a great boardwalk through a swamp. Uh, we really enjoyed our time at Goose Creek State Park. If you haven't yet seen my overview video of Goose Creek State Park, I'm going to put a link to that right up here or also down in the description below. You can check that out. And we also did a review of the RV campground at Goose Creek State Park. So we show you all the amenities uh, at the campground, the restroom facilities, an example campsite, the cabins. There's six cabins, little camper cabins in the campground that you can rent. Uh, we show you all that stuff. So if you haven't seen our overview of the RV campground at Goose Creek State Park, check that out. I'll put a link to that right up here or down in the description below. So uh, as I said, we had a great time. Uh, we camped in the RV campground at Goose Creek. Uh, there's also a primitive campground. So if you're looking for something that's a little more tent friendly, also you can check out that. I'll put a link to that uh, a little bit later in the video. But like I said, we had an amazing time at Goose Creek State Park. We really enjoyed the campground. It's a phenomenal facility, but it's relatively new. And so when we reserved our site on Reserve America, there were absolutely zero photos of the uh, sites at Goose Creek. So we shot every empty site and we're bringing those to you guys to make it easier for you to select a campsite when you're going camping. So with that, let's get to the campsite videos. Goose Creek State Park is located in eastern North Carolina, directly east of Greenville. It's near Washington, it's on the Pamlico River, and is easily accessed by Virginia Beach and Norfolk, Raleigh-Durham, Wilmington, and Myrtle Beach. Goose Creek State Park is a big park with plenty to see and do. It has awesome hiking trails, great water access to Goose Creek and the Pamlico River. The RV campground is indicated by the red arrow. It has a number of RV sites and some camper cabins and a full service restroom. The restroom facility is indicated by the red arrow. It was a brand new building when we were there and has flush toilets, running water, uh, hot showers, and excellent facilities. The first site we're going to take a look at is site number four. Site 4 is a back-end site on the outer edge of the loop. So starting from the main road, you can see that Site 4 is quite large. All the campsites uh, in this campground are quite large. And the site is in a pine forest, which is kind of nice. It is pretty open, though. Uh, but there's some tall vegetation between each site, which gives you uh, a little bit of privacy and uh, a lot of space between you and your neighbor, which I really like about this campground. And these sites are huge. They're uh, big enough for the uh, biggest RV or uh, camper trailer and tow rig. You know, if you have a, a large uh, fifth wheel and a, and a large you know, crew cab pickup truck, you can easily put uh, that in this space. As we make our way down into the site, you can see that it's gravel uh, and that it's level. There's the water hookup, the sewer hookup, and the electric hookup. Uh, these sites do have 30 and 50 amp uh, electric hookups. Uh, towards the back of the site, you can see uh, it has a picnic table and Lots of vegetation behind you. There's actually a trail that goes back behind there, which is kind of cool. There's your fire pit with grill grate, a hook to hang a lantern, and um, just a fantastic 
Fantastic sight. Lots of room. So the next site we're going to take a look at is site number five. Site five is a back end site. All of these sites are back in. Uh, it's on the interior of the loop, as indicated by the red arrow. So starting from the road, you can see just how spaced out these sites are. You're not on top of one another, as I said, which I really like. And even these interior uh, sites are quite large. Uh, again, plenty of room for the largest RV, you know, Class A, or the largest fifth wheel uh, and tow vehicle. There's no uh, roof clearance issues in this campground. Uh, you can have a very tall rig with no problems. And again, this site is equipped with uh, water, electric, and sewer hookup. It's full hookups, 30 and 50 amp electric. It has a picnic table, a fire pit with grill grate, and a, a hook to hang a lantern. Plenty of privacy behind you. The only thing I don't like about the interior sites is because of the way they're angled for back in. Uh, when you're uh, sitting uh, outside your camper, you're facing the road instead of facing away from the road. So just something to consider if you are uh, reserving a, a site. So the next site we're going to take a look at is site number six. Again, another back in site. Shot this one on a foggy day, as you can see. And uh, again, just another another huge, uh, huge site. When we reserved our site on Reserve America, there were no photos of these campsites. I don't know if that's since been updated. But if you happen to see this video uh, because you are trying to figure out if these sites are suitable for your needs, uh, hopefully they help you out. I, I do hope that they do get photos on Reserve America soon so that people uh, don't have to reserve their site sight unseen. Uh, but that's why we, we produce these videos to help folks. So as you can see, again, another huge, huge site. Uh, I really like this site a lot. It backs up uh, into uh, the woods there and it's a little bit thicker. Um, this is just a, a really beautiful campground. I really, really enjoyed it. Again, full hookups, water, sewer, electric, 30 and 50 amp available. I like how this one has the um, pad for the picnic table and the fire pit with grill grate kind of behind the camper, uh, which gives you a nice view of the woods there. And then there's a a hook to hang a lantern or other gear. We often attach our dog to that uh, pole on, a, on kind of a long lead so she gets a little bit of space. And as you can see, just a tremendous uh, amount of room there. You could e easily uh, pitch a tent in addition to your your uh, RV or, or camper or, or a screen house or anything you want. So the last, vid uh, the last uh, campsite we're going to take a look at in this video is site number seven. Again, site number seven is another back end site. It's on the interior of the loop. So as you can see there, that you can see what I was talking about with uh, the sites on the interior of the loop. Uh, when you're out of your camper and you're sitting by your fire, you're facing the road. Um, that's not really that big a deal, but uh, if I had a preference, I would choose an outer loop uh, spot. Again, plenty of space between sites. And this campground is brand new, so I'm hoping that uh, as the campground ages, um, they'll allow a few more trees to grow up to give you a little bit of privacy in between um, sites. Uh, 
but all in all, we really, really enjoyed our stay. Again, another huge site, plenty of room for, for the largest of rigs, water sewer and electric hookup. Even though it's on the interior, it's some nice privacy behind you with some trees there. And this site is equipped, uh, like all sites, with a uh, picnic table, uh, a fire pit with grill grate, and a hook to hang a lantern or, or anything else you might want to hang off of there. And those are the sites for this video. So hopefully you found those video reviews useful. Uh, we're doing this every time we go camping all across America to make it easier for you to select the campsite when you're going camping. So as I said, there were no uh, photos on Reserve America for this campground. So hopefully these videos will make it easier for you to select the site. Guys, these sites are fantastic. They're huge. They've got full hookups. They're big enough for any rig. I mean, if you're rolling in there with a huge motorhome or a large fifth wheel with a long tow vehicle, uh, you should have no problem camping at any one of these sites. They're fantastic. The restroom facilities were amazing, nice and clean. We had an absolute blast. And there's a little trail that runs on the, around the back side of the campground. Uh, so it's great to just get out there and hike. If, you, if you're camping with dogs, go get your dogs a little bit of exercise. We had a blast, guys. We love that park. So we also spent Thanksgiving there. So if you haven't checked out our What's Cooking episode on how to make a Thanksgiving dinner at the campsite, check that out. I'm going to put a link right up here or down in the description below. Uh, we did a whole Thanksgiving dinner with all the trimmings. We cooked the turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and corn and everything. And it was fantastic. We had an absolute blast. So check that out. And then as well, if you're looking for uh, information on the primitive campground, so there's two campgrounds at Goose Creek. One is the RV campground. The other one is the primitive campground. It's suitable for tents. Uh, they do not allow any trailers in there, so no pop-ups. Uh, the road is really narrow. But if you haven't yet seen my overview of the primitive campground at Goose Creek, check that out. I'm going to put a link to that right up here and one down in the description below. So guys, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So if you're a mom or a dad and you're kind of new to this whole outdoors thing and you want to get your kids outside, we'd love to hear from you. So drop something down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them, like where to go, what gear do you need, any of that stuff, we'd love to answer that. Or you can hit us up on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or on Twitter. All the links to those are down in the description below. You can just send us a message there or, or write a comment on any one of our posts, and we'd love to hear from you. So definitely, definitely do that. And guys, so hit that subscribe button. We, uh, we can't do it without you. We're a growing channel here on YouTube, and we definitely love all the support from our viewers. We really appreciate it. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that like button for me. So Camp Outside releases new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews. And our Thursday videos are on a whole wide range of topics from camping to hiking to fishing, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and more. So if you love outdoor content, smash that subscribe and follow along with us. We couldn't do it without you. So guys, I'm Kevin with Camp Outside. Remember, we are your inside source for all things outside. We love what we do and we hope it shows. We'll see you next time on Camp Outside. Bye guys.